Good afternoon. We are on the 22nd of February 2022. I'm going to be sharing with you daily meditations with the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost as some of us call the Holy Spirit of God. Begin with one or two prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thy prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Um. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Come Holy Ghost, creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. To fill the hearts which thou hast made. The scripture reading today is taken from Wisdom 7, 27b for the 22nd of February, 2022. A reading from Wisdom 7 Passing into holy souls from age to age wisdom produces friends of God and prophets The reflection As the Holy Spirit passes into our hearts we become friends of God the Spirit calls us to share that relationship with others. This is our prophetic call. We are sent out to proclaim the good news that God loves us so much that he would call his son, his only son, Jesus Christ to die on the cross out of love for us. The prayer. May I always glory in the wisdom of the cross and give witness to that wisdom in my everyday life. Amen. Come to us, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Veni Sancti Spiritus. Come to us, O Holy Ghost. Bring us heaven's light and grace. Guide our actions here on earth. Come, dear lover of the poor. Come, sweet giver of good gifts. Come, give light to human hearts. Come, Consoler, best of all. 
come to live within our souls. Come renew our strength and joy. When we are weak from effort, bring ease. Bring cool rest from passion's heat. Come to change our tears to joy. Come, blessed light of God, come to fill the hearts and minds of your faithful people here. If we lose your grace and help, we have nothing left that is good. All our lives will turn to sin. Come to wash away our faults. Come to make our virtue strong. Come to heal the wounds of sin. Soften souls now hard through sin. Give warm life to love grown cold. Guide the lives that turn from God. Come to give your faithful ones. Come to give your trusting ones all your seven mighty gifts. Come, reward our lives at death. Help us then to save our souls. Give the joy that never ends. Finally, a prayer for light. May your brightness shine on us, almighty God, and may the Holy Spirit the light of your light, enlighten and strengthen the hearts of all of us who are made new by your grace. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and make new the face of the earth. Amen. And one little more prayer for the sick. O oh Lord Jesus, when you were on earth, you had pity on the sick and cured their diseases. Hear our prayer now as we ask you to give your merciful help to all those sick people listening, watching or who you're caring for. And give them back good health so that they may live to praise you and to serve you. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you and touch you in a very special way. I'm sending you his peace in abundance and may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And it is good to reflect and look back on our lives if you've lived as long as me and you can remember the stages in your life before you reach wherever you are now and if God has come into your life and changed you that's a great blessing because you can look back and see how unhappy you were how depressed you were probably never mentioning the word joy I haven't stopped mentioning it for some reason in this little video because the words are there and they touch you deeply and you feel the joy that's always in you while you have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit living in you. You, you can be joyful, you will be joyful always. So God bless you, thank you once again for listening. I look forward to doing um, daily meditations with St. Augustine in a moment. I absolutely love I uh, love him and his life. I feel I know him very, very well, but I look forward to meeting him one day. <laughs>